good morning students in this lab activity we are going to discuss what happened to the light ray when it is traveled from denser to rarer that is and at the same time today we are going to discuss what is meaning of critical angle and the phenomena of total internal reflection as did in the last lab activity first of all we have a white paper then i drawn mm line and nn line both the lines are met at the center o from the center o i drawn a circle then the circle is divided into four quadrants 1 2 3 4 then each quadrant is divided into angles now the complete circle is called pro circle later we identified the angles 0 10 20 30 40 50 like this and here also the angles we note down now as early experiment we placed the base of the semi circular glass slab must and should coincides with mm line here also the base of the semi circular glass slab must coincides with mm line and again we should draw its boundary surface then i am going to insert a pin at point o yes till now this is the same what we did in the case of snell's law then what is the difference the difference between snell's law and this activity is in the snell's law we passed the laser light from base to curve that is from rarer to denser but in this activity we are going to pass the laser light from curve to base that is from denser to rarer that is the main difference between snell's law and this activity as usual the angles are same now for that purpose i prepared a table the table is first column contain the serial number the next column contain angle of incidence and angle of refraction i already prepared this table as early before only now we will start the activity how we should perform the activity in this case first of all we should pass the laser light at an angle of 0 degrees here the laser that is coming on that falling on this pin now we are going to identify at what angle the laser light is coming outside approximately the angle is 0 now pass the laser light at an angle of 10 degrees from curved surface to base that is from denser to rarer at an angle of 10 degrees now i am going to identify at what angle the light ray came outside if you can identify this is the position of the light ray means uh, whenever the light ray is traveling from 10 degrees that is from denser to rarer it came outside at an angle of approximately 22 degrees now pass the laser light at an angle of 20 degrees if you pass the laser light at an angle of 20 degrees and identify the angle of refraction of course here uh, we should identify this means the angle of refraction may be approximately 35 degrees for 10 degrees angle of incidence 0 degrees angle of uh, refraction is also 0 10 degrees it may be 21 degrees for 20 degrees angle of refraction is 35 degrees now pass the laser light at an angle of 30 degrees if you pass the laser light at an angle of 30 degrees and identify the refracted ray here we can identify the refracted ray means angle of refraction approximately 60 degrees it is came 30 our expectation is 30 why because the light is always travel in the straight line but here the light whenever it is enter from curved surface to the base that is from denser to rarer it is deviating away from the normal means 
angle of refraction is always greater than the angle of incidence. Now, once again, if you put the light ray at an angle of 40 degrees, if you pass the light ray at an angle of 40 degrees, we can say we can observe the light ray here. Approximately here it is. Means it is reaches the base. Now, if you place the light ray at an angle of approximately 45 degrees, approximately at an angle of 45 degrees, now the light ray passing at this plane. That means light ray, if you pass the light ray from curved surface to the base, that is from denser to rarer, at a particular angle of incidence, at a particular angle of incidence, it is grazing the, means touching the interface of air and glass. That angle is called critical angle. Now, what is the definition of critical angle? If you observe at this angle, at approximately 42 in between 40 and as well as 50 degrees, if the light ray travel from denser to rarer, that is from curved surface to base, at a particular angle, light ray grazes the interface of both rarer and denser. That angle of incidence is called critical angle. The angle of incidence at which light ray travel from denser to rarer, it grazes the interface of both rarer and denser media. Such angle is called critical angle. Now, move the laser light beyond the critical angle. At 40 degrees or between the 45 degrees, the light ray touches the both air and glass. Now, if you observe, the light ray at a 40, 50 degrees angle means beyond the critical angle. Light ray is passing beyond the critical angle. Now, observe, here is the direction of the emergent ray. Refracted ray. The refracted ray never enter into the rarer. Again it is enter into the denser. Whenever a light ray travel from denser to rarer, beyond the critical angle, light ray never enter into rarer. Again it is enter into denser. This phenomena of the light is called total internal reflection total internal reflection simply we are calling as tir total internal reflection once again if we pass the light ray at an angle of 60 degrees if the pass the light ray at an angle of 60 degrees see here again the light ray is came in this direction only means the light never enter into the rarer again enter into the denser so the condition for the Total internal reflection is the light should travel from denser to rarer. Now, once again, if you observe at an angle of 70 degrees, if you put the light ray at an angle of 70 degrees, you see here, light again enter into the denser only. It never enter into the rarer. Once again, if you place the light ray at an angle of 90 degrees, means the light ray is touching the interface of both rarer and denser again it is traveling in this the light ray never interfere that means if the light ray travels at an angle of zero degrees or if the light ray strikes the surface of both rarer and denser media it does not undergo the process of deviation in this experiment what final thing we concluded From the experiment, we recorded some of the values. By recording those values in the table, which contains a serial number, angle of incidence and angle of refraction. Angle of incidence is zero, angle of refraction is also zero. Means there is no deviation. Light ray means if the light ray strikes the surface, whether it is coming from rarer to denser or from denser to rarer, it does not deviate. Consider the second case. Angle of incidence is 20, 10 degrees, angle of refraction is 22 degrees. Why? Because the light ray is traveling from denser to rarer. Third case, angle of incidence is 30, 20, angle of refraction is 33 degrees. Angle of incidence is 30, angle of refraction is 58. If you observe, angle of refraction is gradually increasing. 
whenever the angle reaches 40 degrees the light ray grazes the interface of air and glass that angle of incidence is called critical angle the angle at which the light ray travel from denser to rarer at a particular angle of incidence light ray grazes the interface of air and glass that angle is called critical angle yeah beyond the critical angle the light ray whenever it is at 50 degrees again the light ray enter into the denser means it should not enter into the rarer 60 degrees again enter into the denser it is not enter into the rarer 70 degrees again enter into the denser even at 80 degrees also it is again enter into the denser at 90 degrees it is not deviated this phenomena is called total internal reflection the phenomena of light whenever it is entered from denser medium to the rarer medium beyond the critical angle the light never enter into the rarer it again enter into the denser that phenomena is called total internal reflection once again the definition of total internal reflection is the phenomena in which light entered from denser to rarer beyond the critical angle light never enter into rarer again it bounces back into denser this phenomena is called total internal reflection now once again the definition of critical angle is whenever a light ray travels from denser to rarer at a particular angle of incidence the light ray grazes the interface of air and glass that particular angle of incidence is called critical angle from the table if you draw the graphs here the light ray traveling from glass to air that is from denser to rarer at a particular angle of incidence approximately 10 degrees in this direction the light ray is traveling this is our estimated light ray should come outside but it is deviated away from the normal light travel from denser to rarer bends away from the normal whereas rarer to denser bends towards the normal this already proved in the case of Snell's law here come to this here some angle is increased light is traveling from glass to air except traveling in a straight line it is deviating from its path here angle of refraction is increased when come to this case whenever at a particular angle of incidence when the light ray is traveling at a particular angle of incidence that is from glass to air it is grazing the interface of both air and glass that angle is called critical angle i already given the definition of critical angle when the light travel from denser to rarer at a particular angle of incidence light never enter into rarer it grazes the interface of air and glass that angle is called critical angle here angle of refraction is 90 at critical angle angle of refraction is 90 generally critical angle is represented by letter c now come to this case here approximate critical angle of the semicircular glass slab is 42 degrees means this process will start from 40 and moves by 42 if you cross the beyond the 40 if you reaches 50 degrees light never enter into air again it is enter into the denser so this phenomena is called total internal reflection here also if you observe the critical angle is more than 40 degrees light again enter into the denser it never enter into the rarer this is also total internal reflection here in this case the light rays travels along the interface of both air and glass it does not deviate so in only two cases light ray 
should not deviate first one if the light ray strikes the interface at 90 degrees or if the light ray strikes at an angle of 0 degrees in all the cases light ray bend if the light ray travels from rarer to denser bends towards the normal if the light ray travel from denser to rarer bends away from the normal because of change in the speed of the light whereas frequency of the light must and should be constant thank you